Hey, it's Jack here. Today we are in North Las Vegas at the Old Mormon Fort. We're going to visit the oldest standing structure in Nevada as we walk around the grounds. The visitor center walks you through the birthplace, originally called the Meadows, which is what Las Vegas means, where it became a home for the Native Americans. Then it became a welcome stop for the travelers. It became an outpost for the Mormon territory. It became a remote ranch, a railroad town, and eventually became what we have today, Boomtown Las Vegas. Here's an artist rendition of the Mormons celebrating 4th of July here at the fort in 1855. Here's a dedication to the Moulin Rouge, America's first interracial hotel and casino. And they have a dish and a poker chip from that casino here. And they also have Cover Life magazine from June 20th, 1955. Over here is this vicious looking rattlesnake. Visitor Center has various books and other items for sale. And just like any exhibit I come to where they have a pen, today I'm picking up this pen from Old Mormon Fort. It adds to my collection. The fort was built by the Mormons in the mid 1800s as a stopover point, there was 30 men who manned the fort. This was a stopover point for the travelers as they went from Salt Lake City to California, right along the Old Spanish Trail. In front of us is the oldest standing structure in Nevada. This has been restored, obviously. The interior of the walls, as we'll see, are original. This mold here is what they would use to make the adobe bricks, which they would build the walls with. We can see some of the original walls as they were constructed. You can learn more about the adobe building through a virtual model. Use the QR code. The various placards around this building that talk about the birth of a town, how Vegas came to be. And if it wasn't for this old fort here, Vegas wouldn't be what it is today, most likely. The fort was put in this location was because there was water source natural spring and we can see here by the pictures people cooling off in big spring las vegas back here we have a depiction of what this would have been and it looks like she's practicing her tai chi they've also done a partial restoration of the old mormon fort original walls were 150 feet long with the tower there in the corner they restored this part of it main gate up to this corner then on the far side there, they have not fully restored it. We can see some of the original foundation that's there. This corner, this is the restored tower. We'll walk inside, check that out. But before we do, we'll go up here and see what it would have been like to man one of these walls in case of a, I don't know, an attack or something along those lines. Able to look out one of these spots here. Could have aimed your rifle or just saw what the opponent was doing and still be fairly protected by the wall around you. It's a two-story tower as we can see here. We'll go inside. They've got a stove there. Checkerboard on this side. Got what would have been musket balls and what probably would have been a keg of powder over there. This is two stories but the second floor is currently blocked off but they do have a mirror there where we can see what it it would look like if we could crawl up there. Now looking down the wall here, there's this point where if anybody was trying to climb the wall, they would be able to see them and take them out. And we have the same effect over here on this wall, where if anybody was trying to climb the wall, they could, they could take the person out. You see the tower was in this corner, original building in the opposite corner. It's a big Dutch oven here over a, where a fire would have been. Cook the dinner and talk about the day's events right here. We go out the gate and we're greeted by some modern wagons here. And some picnic grounds. And out here they have their garden in the desert, as they call it. See a bunch of prickly pear over there in the corner. 
They've got other plants growing. We can see some collard greens growing right here. Looks like this might be some grape vines that will eventually spring up. And put some grapes out there. Here's a lime tree that looks like it's fairly new. It looks like it's doing pretty good. Here's some mandarin plants out here doing pretty darn good. Here's a fig tree just starting out. Here's a sign asking us to do not enter. That's not to the desert garden. Stay out of the area where the desert tortoise is. Good sized desert tortoise. Has a nice habitat here to walk around the area. Apparently the name of the desert tortoise is Helen Shelley. Here's a sign that tells us all about Helen Shelley. She's an African spurred tortoise born in 2007, rescued in 2018, also known as a Skokata tortoise. I probably mispronounced that, but you can read it right there. Helen Jane Weiser Stewart, First Lady of Las Vegas. Interesting story. If it wasn't for her, chances are Vegas wouldn't be what it is today. She sold her land to the railroad, which brought the railroads here that expanded Vegas out to what we know it today. The Old Mormon Ford is ran by the Nevada Park Services. It's $3 for admission. You can walk around, take as much time as you want. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We'll catch you on the next one.